So 
one for a day, but for a second to make sure that each other was good. Her favorite song, a song that defines her, Spanish woman presented by Mr. Timothy Watkins, the barrel. They know how to cut and how to cut them. Keep their family alive. Mama never stopped. Right until the day she died, Mama just wanted to be herself. And as much as we would love to go on to begin, I think that my what and my emotions may not be able to go on. I believe it will surprise me on behalf of my family that having her as my grandmother was one of the best things in our life. And while we are deeply saddened by the loss of one of the pillars in our family, my grandfather, the little Rosie Bruce, was the other. I just had to mention him. He is so arrested. We go and rest his soul. We are also thankful for the chance to have them, to have had them. As we did not fear well physically, we hope we find eternal rest. We love you. Rest in peace. Thank you. It is indeed an unusual way to celebrate my mother's life. It is equally daunting because after 19 years on this boat, she's going away in almost silence. This is sad because my mother shared her life with so many family members, neighbors, and friends. However, I hasten to add that we still thank God for the opportunity to build her fair. I am inspired by the way my mother lived her life. So eulogizing her is a great part. When you combine the fact that Mama was a compassionate person and always willing to help, you will understand why it is highly impossible to elucidate her life in a few minutes. I think her life should be a social study sex for her grandchildren because whenever they visited, she would joyfully welcome them by name, followed by a violent lesson. When it was time to leave, she would say, go for them and hold on to the Bible as an encouragement for them to follow the rules. My mother was the most determined and persistent woman I have ever met. She was the same in her young age, in her old age, and even when her strength weakened. She remained a powerhouse. One thing that comes to mind is for years she insisted that she was diabetic, even though the doctor proved otherwise. At the end of the doctor's visit, she would turn to him and say, you can't tell me I don't have diabetes. You don't know one damn thing. She felt she was in charge of everything. Her words were, I am a veteran. My mother was the guiding light for her family. As a mother, she worked tirelessly at instilling good values in her children and grandchildren. My mother loved and cared for all her children. I would like to say equally, but it's just a God feeling that her sons were at the top of her love chart. Words that come to mind when you talk about mama are God, family, prayers, rosary, Novena, truth, humanity, sharing, coffee, food, and bits. She was the ultimate discipline in there. She had a healthy appetite and she drank black coffee several times each day and ate at any time. My mother's presence in her children's lives was one of love, care, and concern. She felt that she could have solved everyone's problems. We often joke that she was the senior officer wherever her children would. My mother always achieved a great, a great aim as a supportive and loving person. If I were to conjure one life lesson that she would want us to carry for the rest of our 
lies is simply always kind and truthful. I can recall from a very young age, you tell us you don't have money, land, or wealth, but you have one another. So love one another and live good, live good, live good. My mother's favorite piece of scripture is Psalm 27, verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall be? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. In whom shall I be afraid? She recited that several times every day. I lived in the Lord for the Lord and died in the Lord. My mother had a great appetite and a hot mouth, so when she stopped talking and refused food, we knew that she was making her transition from earth to earthly home into her heavenly home. Mama returned to God in a peaceful manner while in the presence of her children and grandchildren. Romans chapter 14 verse 8 says, If you live, you live for the Lord. And if you die, you die for the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Mama should have loved us long to the Lord. We thank God for granting us the opportunity to experience her wisdom, kindness, and sincerity for 97 years, 11 months, and 18 days. Mama has left us many memories, including 10 more persons. Her relationship with our father, Christ Bruce, her husband, dealing with difficult situations. A unique relationship with Maria, my sister, who is now deceased, whose name she would call every day since her passing. Yes, Ma, she tell it too short a time. She was an amazing woman. She was very, very, very concerned about how she looked. Her hair, her nails must be well kept, even on her sick bed. She demanded that that be done. Thankfully, Panis Vera did a cover in her last days. Mama Pachinella, we love you, we love you. You are a great ma mother, a great friend, a great mentor, a great person to not only your children, but to neighbors and friends and other relatives. Rest in peace, Mama.
that the Lord may grant us the gift of His loving consolation. O God, to whom mercy and forgiveness belong, hear our prayer on behalf of your son Bethlehem, whom you have followed with this world. And because she was a hope and trust in you, command that you be carried safely home to heaven and come to enjoy your eternal reward. For we ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us be seated as we listen to the first reading that comes from the Book of Lamentations.
speak, Lord, your servant is listening. You have the message of eternal life. Hallelujah. This is what I will do. 
And when you did whatever you would have done then, you recovered from the little upsetting experiences that you would have had. This story is very relevant for us today. Very, very, this part, very relevant for us today. Great is the faithfulness of God. That in spite of what you are going through, God has not abandoned you. Not abandoned you. This is God that we serve. The God that we serve comes to us, as we know in the images with the expressions relating to our sister. The many trying times that she would have had. Many, many trying times. But I did not hear one word of stop of saying, I give up. Give up. Rather, she prayed that Psalm 27. And you see that verse there. This I believe I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. She lived by that. That she knew that in spite of what was going through in her life, that something good was going to happen and did happen. In the gospel story, we have Jesus about to go to the cross. He's about to make the final sacrifice that he came to make for our sakes. And as he's about to go, he prays to the Father, glorify your son, so that your son may glorify you. Jesus is kind of reaffirming the boys. Yes, that I am the one to have with Jesus Christ, I'm the Savior of the world. And that the glory that, that, that I will receive is yet to come. That the glory that I will receive is yet to come. And for them, they might have been thinking that the glory is being yeah, the talking or some kind of something else. For Jesus, the glory was the cross. The glory was achieved through obedience to the Father's will. The glory was going to the cross and allowing himself to be sacrificed so that he could be the children of God again. What are the sacrifices that you made in, in, that made in, in your lives? What are the many sacrifices you have made that today you can sit down and reflect and in spite of the tears, in spite of the pain, yes, that there was really, really something else. Yes, not not. So, so you know when you, you know what she what she stood for. She was there making every sacrifice that you could be family. That you could be there for one another. That you would come to the knowledge of God. She would have made the name of God known to you. She would have, have, have taught you the value of prayer. The rosary, another prayers. This is special. Living it so that you would follow the example that she would have said. This is Jesus praying that. No, you will be on it, you will share all you will know God. Think about it and thank God for it. Thank God for the links. Thank God for the glory of the travel. Thank God that way. Thank God. You can sit back on and laugh at some of the things in, 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 in spite of your tears. See how faithful she was to the call of God. Jesus, as he's about to go to the cross, he tells the Father, I have glorified you on earth, and I have finished the work you sent me to. The day we celebrate that. Do you hear people saying that? Do you hear during this part last week when she was not eating? And you might have been there wondering all sorts of things. And she must have been there for the blessing of God. Conversing with the God, crying out for you. You see, a lot of suffering and during those times, they just pray, they pray that all these are such that she labored in her lifetime to see that you respected one another, to love one another. She must have been praying that prayer that when the time would have come for me to go, that my children, my grandchildren, all my offspring will stay together because I have made your name to them. I have put, taught them what it means to trust God. I have taught them what it means to pray. I have taught them what, what it means to be family. I have taught them what it means to make sacrifices. I have taught them what it means to love. And she did not limit it to the family. The many neighbors, the many persons' lives that she would have touched. Today we celebrate all of that. I have finished 
the world that you sent me to do. Total obedience. It leaves us who are left behind for the world. Obedience to God. Obedience to the call of God. Very, very important. Making sacrifices without complaining. Many, many sacrifices. Doing without. So that others may live as petrol. That is the person whose life we celebrate today. We record in the last days. Constantly calling on Maria. Constantly calling on Maria. These are the just names we have been hearing. But could do well imagine how she would have been, have been calling your names before God. Think about it. Think about it. Today, my sister and brothers, we come and we celebrate a woman, a lady. The hour has come, as Jesus said, she must have prayed that. And today, as we sit here in, in, in retrospect, it causes us to think that sometimes during our lifetime, it is very easy to misunderstand the people during their lifetime. Death helps us to reflect. Might have been misunderstood, underestimated, as it were. Sometimes finding people so miserable. And so many things we could say. But now that she has gone, now that she has gone, you realize the work of this lonely lady. And we thank God for her life to witness. We thank God, like Jesus, Jesus says, I have finished the work you sent me to do. That Petro must be saved. And not. These must have been the last words on her lips. I have finished the work you sent me to do. She molded you together as family, and by extension, drew me into the family. Take what the others say to the one into the family. Celebrate that. Celebrate that. Shed your tears. Let them flow. But remember, there was someone who, like Jesus, I have made your name known to the truth from the world. I have made your name known to my children to their offspring and to the wider community. And now my work is ended. They will be praying that as Petro begins a journey to that Holy Father, she can get what's saved to her. Well done, my good and faithful son. Come and reap the rewards that have been prepared for you, my good Father. May God be well with you in your life and may God bless you and fill you with this. Let us pray. God, the Almighty Father, raise Christ the Son from the dead. The one who is the ask to save all his people living and the dead. For better wood baptism of the Lord in the of eternal life, that she may now be admitted to the company of the saints. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious hear us. For sister, who led the body of Christ in the bread of life, that she may be raised at last day. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. For oh, deceased relatives and friends and for all who have helped us, that we have the reward of their goodness. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see for face to face. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. For the family, the relatives, the friends, all oh, sister Pedro, that they be consoled in their grief by the Lord who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. For us assembled here, and for all those who have loved to be here, we pray that we gather together again in God's kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Even as we are gathered to a number, God is not asleep to numbers. And so we offer ourselves up to God, and so we shall come from peace. So you have this added to the list of other little complaints or other little negative things in your lives. This 
system we had to it. So we all stand in need of healing. We all stand in need of deliverance. We all stand in need of a God who never allows his children to share the this day. So Almighty God and Father, as we enter into our system of the I ask the Lord Lord to reach out to those of us who are left behind. We are here with our own people, our own sins. Lord, search our hearts. Go deep within us, O God, and administer to us that the peace for which we are longing will come to us in the fullness of the world. We pray for healing of body, mind, and spirit. Lord, look at us and examine us. And if there is anything wrong with us physically or otherwise, no now of no to us. Because you are all knowing God, you are all loving God. Lord, lay your hand and gently upon all of us as we assemble here and wherever we are at home. Lay your hand gently upon us and bring us your peace, bring us your healing, and bring us your love of God. Lord, we cry to you in the midst of our tears. Lord, oh God, when Israelites will go into the desert and they were thirsty, they found water that it was bitter. Lord, in our search for you, sometimes we encounter bitter waters. But even then, we made water sweet for them and it became palatable. And so we pray this afternoon that you will sweep the bitterness in our lives and draw us into your love, into your healing presence. Deliver us from all that is of you so that we can attain the fullness of a new life this Easter season and through the rest of our lives. God touch our people. Hear us as we cry out to you. We are thirsting. We must start out from the water. Let us be able to hear you say, when we are eaten that we are distressed. And grab all that water of sin. Whether you turn to the left or to the right, you have good words. Lord, touch your people, heal your people. We are identified with Jeremiah as he prayed one day. Heal me, Lord, and I shall be well healed. There are people crying out to you this afternoon and all this. Heal us, Lord. We shall be he went on to pray, save me, Lord, and I shall be saved. Be like Jeremiah, I will save us, Lord, and we shall be saved. At the end of this little prayer, I say, for you are my only hope. We do today, we confess with our hearts that you are redeemed from the world. Touch your people, heal your people, and set your people free. For we pray to your Son Jesus Christ, who is the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And so we join our hearts and our voices, and we pray together in the words of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day of daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespasses. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Lord, O God, give us peace and heal our souls. Hear the prayer of the people, Jesus Christ, your Son, and hear the voices of your people gathered here and elsewhere, O God, to cry out to you in our agonizing moments. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ, and grant them a place in the kingdom. For we ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for Petronella, and now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see her again and enjoy the friendship. Although we will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. And so I spring the reason again with holy water, reminding us of our baptism, of our being cleansed of sin, and being recalled into the presence of the and, and being made children of God once more. I spring the reason again as we sing.
and an allegiance to the Holy City in your national program. May it was a great man's right to you and a legal bosom of Abraham, and where Lazarus is born no longer, may you, our loved one, find eternal rest. Eternal rest, eternal peace, and come to love the Lord, and the death of perpetual life shine upon her. May she rest in peace. And may the love of God and the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ bless and console us and gently wipe away every tear of our eyes in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My sisters and brothers, our service has come by. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks. I'm walking on my way to the Lord, to my Lord. You will look at us again. 